I'm seeing things I shouldn't see. I'm dreaming things I've never seen. You're beginning to think in images, concrete images. Hot, cold, light, dark, food, hunger, pain. I think as I've always did. Words are becoming meaningless to me, except for the most elementary. Hey guys, uh, it's Inkeater, and I'm wearing an awesome hat. Why? Because it's supposed to be fall. Florida, get with it. Yeah, apparently Florida doesn't understand that it's fall, and I should be experiencing cold weather. Not really, though, because I really don't like cold weather. I just like your fashion statements. So, yeah, I just want a reason to rock this hat. And you know what I thought? Why not better than a YouTube video? So, yeah, this is one of my hats. One of my crazy hats. It's a bear. And it's not Halloween yet, but I figure it's close enough that it's totally appropriate to wear this since Florida can't get with the program that it's fall. Please don't, Florida. Get cooler, but don't get, like, freezing cold. I made an oopsie, and today's Thursday, not Wednesday. So we're calling this oops. It's Thursday, not Wednesday, but we're doing record Wednesday anyway. Yeah. I thought today I would share two albums that I own just because sometimes you just end up buying things because you see it in a movie or a TV show and you're like, you know what? I need to own this record. So today I present to you guys um, two albums I own. Only reason why I own these albums is because I saw them on Family Guy and I was like, you know what? I need to own that. Um, what I own because of the artwork, it is just amazing and awesome. And I'm so sad that they don't make records like this anymore. Or rather, they don't... They don't spend as much time in the artwork that goes along with the music nowadays. It's all kind of digital, but anyway, that's a whole other rant for another day. And if you are a fan of Family Guy, I'm pretty sure you remember the episode where Stewie is basically antagonized with this Queen album. Yeah. It is one of my favorite albums, um, News of the World. I know I say this about every single record I talk about, but I figure I'm going to share with you my favorites and then my random crazy decisions. Today just happens to be one of those days where we're sharing our favorites. So this is one of my favorite um, records. The music is awesome because, of course, they have We Will Rock You, you know, We Are the Champions, the really classic Queen songs that you all know. But it has the most amazing artwork. Um, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to have to stand up to do this, but pretty much you can see this is the front cover and look at the gross, like look at the awesomeness. It's not gross. I can't say it's gross. It's awesome. You see them all dead and decapitated in, the, in, in his hands and everything and it opens up to where you see them falling and look at them. They're, they're like falling on the floor like, ah! Yeah, it is so awesome. And just when you think it doesn't get any better than this, you flip it on the inside, and it's even more crazier. It is the robot reaching in and all the people running and screaming for their lives. This is like probably, I love all the detail down here in this record album because, I mean, look at that. I'm trying not to get the glare of the light. But look at them. Oh my god, you see the terror and fear in their eyes over this monster. Um, yeah, this is the only reason I own this album. Not the only reason I own this album. It's really awesome music from beginning to end. Um, there isn't a track that I don't not like. Uh, it's just amazing. I've mentioned before, but if you don't know, I do post some of my music playlists on Groovesharp. Some of them are awesome, some of them are awful. I don't discriminate against music. Um, if you have any recommendations, I would love to hear what you're listening to. Uh, just leave it down below. And we're going to move on to the next record, which I think is kind of an obvious one because uh, this was the Family Guy episode where, um, where Peter finds a record and he purchases this record. He drives everybody nuts in the episode with this stupid, ridiculous song. Yeah. You guessed it. Surfing Bird. It is probably one of my favorites because I honestly did not believe a song like this could exist. And it just so happens one day I was rummaging through some records at a thrift store and I stumbled across this beauty and 
Yeah, it is probably one of my favorite records just, just because it's from that Family Guy episode. Um, the other songs are pretty, you know, A-OK, -okay, but I want to say that Surfin' Bird, that was the cake for them. You are into buying records. Um, this one is a definite must-have. Um, it's just awesome from beginning to end. Not only that, the artwork is impeccable. It is beautiful. So if the artwork is by Kelly Frias, I'm definitely going to have to sit there. Frias, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely going to have to look up some more of his artwork because I absolutely adore this album. And I'm wondering if he does more of these like foldable, bendable, like, oh my gosh, they're beautiful on their own. But when you open it up, it's even like more awesome. Like that by itself is just awesome. I mean, look at the fear in their eyes. And then like, if you separate it out, it's like, oh wow, that's really cool. Like, and ooh, that's even really awesome. It looks like a really creepy board game. Could you imagine like that being a board game and then you walking up into its hand, it's like, oh, I'm gonna get you. Anyway, I have an overactive imagination. That's pretty much it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this was just kind of a random, I thought I'd share it because these are probably two of my favorite albums in my collection. This is an album I love from beginning to end. Doesn't matter what song's playing, doesn't matter anything. Whether I'm just staring at the artwork to get inspiration or just listening to the music or sometimes doing both. And this one's just a fun one to have. Just because I think it's awesome that it was on Family Guy and I just happened to find it at a thrift store. So this is definitely just a, you know, shits and giggles type of record. It's really cool as it tells you, you know, about how Surf and Bird was their big hit down, you know, right back here. Uh, it's a really awesome record. Um, what I'll do is if you want to listen to any of these songs, I'm going to leave a playlist down below um, in Groove Shark, and you can listen to it from there. Uh, hopefully I can do that from my phone and if not, just check that out tomorrow and that's pretty much it for me um let me know down in the comments below any songs that you have that you're recommending i'm totally open i actually need some new music and it would be awesome if you told me something new that you're listening to or just something that you really really enjoy uh that's pretty much it and i hope you like my shirt it says fear no art this was kind of the creative thing that i did when i wasn't making videos yeah uh, cut up t-shirts because it's healthy. Uh, that's pretty much it, and yeah. Bye! Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real! I've seen things before they happen. Things are not always what they seem in this place. So, you can't take anything for granted.